Hi, welcome to a very special Valentine's edition of Hyla Cooking. Now, whether you like Valentine's Day or hate it, it is a fact of life, so get used to it. You have a couple of options to increase your chances of getting laid on the day of love. One is to go out to a fancy restaurant, spend a bunch of money. The other option is to stay home, spend like $10 and an hour in the kitchen, and cook something for your special lady or your special man, and then they'll be all like, oh my god, I can't believe you made me dinner. I love you. <laughs> All right, so what we got going on today is a $15 Valentine's Day dinner. We're gonna make linguine with caramelized onions and artichoke hearts, and here's what you need. You need two big onions, you need a pound of linguine, you need some artichoke hearts, some parsley, some wine, this is some $6 wine, whatever, you can get more expensive if you want, um, a little olive oil, and some garlic, and some red pepper, and I just saw these at the store and I might put them in. There's some kind of weird peppers I never used before. We'll see about that. And then I'm also going to make a salad, but we'll get to that later. Okay, so this is how you should cut up this onion, your two onions. Cut off the root and the stem end first. And then cut it from one cut side to the other. Lengthwise, if you will. Get that paper off. And then you want to cut it just parallel with the top and bottom. Super thin. And then you end up with these little rainbows of onion slice. Beautiful. All right, so once we get all these chopped up, we're going to start caramelizing them. Um, looks like a lot of onions, but it's going to reduce by about half in volume by the time we're done with the caramelization. I've got my skillet heated up over medium high heat. I'm gonna add two or three tablespoons of olive oil and then I'm gonna put the onions in. That looks about right. All right, I'm gonna put in the onions. And I'm gonna toss them around. Come on, tongs. Act right. There we go. So I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, maybe like half a teaspoon. Sorry, I didn't put that on the ingredients list previously. Um, Tous it. And you don't have to like stir it continuously or anything. Just sort of keep an eye on it. Now we're just gonna leave that alone and let it do its thing. Okay, so these have been cooking for about 10 minutes. I kind of forgot about them and they got a little brown. Whoops, that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna turn it down now and just cook them on low for about 30 minutes. And while that's happening, I'm gonna make the salad. All right, so this is how to make fancy little um, citrus segments for salads. Um, I think they're called Supremes. Cut off the ends. We're gonna peel it with the knife. I mean, using the knife and try to get off as much of the pith as possible. That's the white part. And with grapefruits, that's the part that really makes them taste bitter. So once you get all that out, um, they'll be actually pretty sweet. All right, now I'm gonna cut them into little segments. Um, you can see the membrane lines here, and what you wanna do is cut on either side of those. So you completely cut the membrane out, and then you just end up with this beautiful little segment of fruit. Put it in a bowl. It gets a little tricky towards the end. All right, got last one in there. And I'm just gonna squeeze the rest of this over the bowl. That's gonna be the, we're gonna keep that juice and that's gonna be part of the dressing later. And then I'll just do the same thing with the oranges. It's it pretty dangerous. All right, not even one cut. So we'll just set this aside and stir my onions again. Okay, these are looking really amazing and wonderful and brown. Um, they probably need another 15 minutes or so. So I think I'll go ahead and start my water boiling. Um, if your loved one is late 
and they're ruining your plans, don't fret because once these are done, they can just sit and you can just wait to cook the pasta until your lover arrives. The onions are done, dude. I'm gonna put in a couple cloves of garlic that I chopped up, stir that up, and then add in some wine. Mmm, warm white wine is delicious. Okay. And then with that liquid, you can scrape the little burning bits off the bottom. And then I'm gonna let that go and get the garlic cooked a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna cut up this pepper that I bought that uh, I've never used before and see if I'm gonna smell it and then I'm gonna see if that smells like it would go good in here. And if it doesn't, then screw it. But it could be a whole new invention. I just cut up a few little rings cause I think it'll look real pretty. It's like a really mild poblano flavor. So that'd be good. I'm gonna put it with my artichoke hearts and throw them in later and cut up a handful of parsley and that's also for the pasta and then I'll put the salad together. All right, this is everything for the salad. I've got some red leaf lettuce that's washed and torn up into small pieces. We have our beautiful supremes, um, some olive oil, some salt, and then uh, these hearts of palm, which are exactly what they sound like. They're like little, the inside of palm trees, I guess. Um, if you get the ones that say salad cut, those are cheaper because they take all the messed up ones, I guess, but it doesn't matter because they still look adorable. Um, that's what they look like. And then sometimes you can do that, and then you have that. Isn't that cute? So throw a few of those on. And then I'm gonna put on some of these little beauties. All right. And then for the dressing, I am going to put a little bit of olive oil in with the remainder of the juice that's in this bowl. Maybe just like a teaspoon or so. And some salt. The bunny is pooping salt. <laughs> that was gross, sorry. Um, and then just mix that up and we'll put these in the fridge until we're ready to serve them. And then we'll pour the dressing on later. Okay, so the wine has almost completely evaporated. There's still some liquid in the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the artichoke hearts and the weird peppers that I decided to add today. And stir that around and just let it to continue to simmer on low. Just mix it around. I'm also going to add in a couple pinches of crushed red pepper because I like it spicy. So our water's boiling. I'm going to put in some salt and then throw in the pasta. Whoa, it exploded. Okay. Here it goes. I just want to give it a little stir for the first minute or so so it doesn't all stick together in giant clumps because that's not appetizing. And the box says it's ready in 12 to 14 minutes. It is now 2.47. Why am I making Valentine's dinner at 2.47? That's crazy. All right, we are putting this shit together. Gonna, just gonna make a big mess here and toss this together. This is pretty well combined. Turn that baby off. Hey, onions. There you go. A little artichoke cart there. And some parsley over the top. Parsley actually is not just a garnish. It's, it's going to add a lot of flavor to this thing. And now I'm going to put the dressing on the salad and then we'll be done. There we go. Voila. Dinner is ready. So serve it up with some wine and pants will be coming off. Cheers.